हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एच इंडेक्स वील सी व्हाट इज एच इंडेक्स हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट एच इंडेक्स एंड व्हाट इज इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस इन द साइंटिफिक कम्युनिटी व्हेनेवर वी आर गोइंग टू डू रिसर्च सो द साइंटिफिक आउटपुट वी नॉर्मली गिव सम इनपुट टू द साइंटिफिक कम्युनिटी uh in the forms uh, in the different uh, forms like uh, we are having man power that is scientists uh, then we are having different infrastructures uh, like building labs uh, different resources equipments instruments uh, central equipment facilities uh, different analytical instruments uh, communication tools uh, uh, incentives salary all those things so these are called as input as a result of this input we are going to get some kind of output uh that is scientific literatures scientific outputs uh which can be measured by publications patents books uh technology transfer to the industry instrument some kind of instrument designs methodology modifications uh, royalty owns so these are the input and output in the scientific community but uh if we'll see a uh, scientific community like we uh, whenever we do research so scientific uh, community scientific researcher scientists often normally worry about the future uh, of their careers uh, that uh, is the is their uh, research an exciting path or it is a dead end that will end uh, their careers uh, prematurely so normally predicting scientific uh, trajectory is a daily task uh, daily task for hiring community like uh, whenever uh, some person some committee is going to hire some kind of faculty some researcher some scientists so during hiring committee funding agencies some department heads uh, they inquire about their uh, output scientific outputs so how these uh, different committee different heads different funding agencies going to see the resume of the scientists and then how they are going to measure their scientific productivity uh, so whenever we see this one there are two kinds of things uh, one is uh, measurable that is quantity and second one is quality so quantity is the number of patent number of pa uh, patent uh, published number of uh, paper published so that is quality uh, quantity whenever we are going to talk about in the terms of quantity quality of the papers quality so quality is normally going to be measured in terms of citations overall scientific uh, productivity can be measured by four different parameters uh, these are the four uh, different criteria on which we are normally measures the scientific a productivity uh, so for is citations uh, whenever our work is going to be cited by some other scientists in their paper in their research in their uh, works so that is our citation is going to be counted there so that is the recognition of our paper second one is impact factor so we will have another video where i will tell you how impact factor is going to be calculated and what is its significance today we are going to talk about h index so third is h index and fourth one is i10 index so we will talk about h h index and i10 index today now this h index has been given by j e hirsch in 2005 and that paper has been published this calculation a prediction of scientific output has been published in pns paper so we are having three different well known databases uh, resources where normally we go, we are going to get h index So first one is Scopus, second one is Google Scholar, and third one is Web of Science. So these are the three different resources where we get uh, H index. Now, what is H index? So the H index is a quantitative metric based on analysis of publication data uh, using publications, so number of paper and the citation to provide an estimate of the in importance. significance and broad impact of the scientists communi uh, communicative cumulative research contributions so normally in h index there are two basic parameters one is the number of para publications and plus the number of citations they are having so for any scientist the definition for this h index which is given that is according to hirsch the h index is a scientist has h index index h if h of his or her paper number have at least h citation each and the other np paper have less than or equal to h citation what does it means means the basic simple definition this this definition is given by hirsch but the simple basic definition of h index is if 
एनी ऑथर एनी साइंटिस्ट एनी रिसर्चर हैव एन नंबर ऑफ पेपर विथ एन नंबर ऑफ साइटेशन वट इज दिस मीन इफ आई एम हैविंग टेन पब्लिकेशन वी विल गिव यू सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो हियर टू बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग तो इफ आई एम हैविंग टेन पब्लिकेशन बट ऑल डिफरेंट पब्लिकेशन विल है डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ साइटेशन तो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट इट सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट वन सो टू कैलकुलेट एच इंडेक्स वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट आर एच इंडेक्स फर्स्ट वट विल डू वी विल अरेज ऑल आर पब्लिकेशन इन दिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर बेस्ट ऑन द नंबर ऑफ साइटेशन इट विल है Like here in this examples, here is a author who has seven publications. So this is paper number one, two, three, four, five, seven, and different paper is having different number of citations. Like first paper is having thirty-three citations, second paper is having thirty citations. So these are the number of times that paper is going to be cited. Now, this author have total number of paper seven. So means the NP is seven. maximum h index this author can have that is not more than 7 so what we will do we are going to see we are going to ask the question because the number of paper is 7 so maximum h index can be 7 only it he will not have more than 7 h index so does all the seven paper have minimum seven citation or more than seven citation means minimum seven citations so just see Uh, we are going to look at from the lower side so does all the seven paper have seven or more citations because uh, definition i have told you n number of paper have minimum n citation so whatever number we are going to see it that paper will have that many citations no no in this case this paper is having only five citations for h index 7 we require seven paper to be cited minimum seven times so this paper is cited only 5 times this paper is cited only 6 times so obviously he don't have 7 his h index is certainly not the 7 because 7 paper does not have 7 citations now come to 6 so what we are going to see it does all these 7 paper have 6 or more citations not here here not 7 so because 7 cannot be there so we will see does 6 paper have minimum 6 or more citations So look at the so one paper which is having six or more citations, second paper which is having six or more citation, third which is having so we can write one, two, three, four, five, six. So here you can see this is the sixth paper which is having six or more citations. So the because six paper is having six or more citations, so in this case the h index of this author is six. because n number of paper have minimum n citation so here so this is the h index for this author because six paper is having six or more citations like we are going to see another example uh, will i will tell you second index is called as h i10 index i10 index is the number of publications with at least 10 citations means in this case if you'll see the i10 index is those number of papers which is having minimum 10 citation so this is having 10 or more citation 10 or more citation 10 or more citation or 10 or more citation so minimum four paper is there which is having 10 or more citation so i10 for this author is four and this i10 index is not used by web of science it is not used by other scopus it is only used by google scholar now so it is a very simple measure uh uh and is only used by google scholar and is another way to help gauge of productivity of the scholar like here you can see these are the number of papers so this author is having 10 different publications and if these are the number of times they are going to be cited so if you'll see how many paper they are having which is having minimum 10 citations so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so minimum 7 paper they are having which is having 7 or more citation it means their i10 index of this author is 7 why because 7 paper is there which is having 10 or more citations now we are going to see i h index for this author so in this case this author will have maximum h index can be 10 because he is having only 10 papers so 
he don't have he will not have more than 10 h index so for 10 h index what he needs 10 papers should have 10 or more citations means each paper of these 10 will have 10 or more citations is it there no here 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 last three paper does not have 10 plus citations so 10 h index is not possible then come to 9 so for 9 h index he requires minimum 9 papers to have 9 plus citations so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that is also not possible because ninth paper is having only 5 citations then 8 h index for 8 h index he requires 8 paper to be cited minimum 8 or 8 plus times so 8 plus times 8 plus times 8 more than 8 citations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so if you'll see here so 8 this up to this one here also we have arranged according to descending orders and this paper is having up to here they are having 8 or more than 8 citations so this is 8th number so 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so where we are going to see 8 or more than 8 citations so it means the h index of for this author is 8 so these are the two important parameter which we are going to use especially h index is more important like this is the google scholar uh, web page for uh, myself so automatically it calculates this h index on the basis of citations so here you can see this is the citation so i will have minimum 16 paper which will be cited more than 16 or more times i10 index means i am having 17 paper which is having more than 10 citations so i10 index is 17 and h index is 16 uh, this is a different parameter this is after 2015 but i am having some papers uh, 2011 also 28 also so those are not calculated so this is the only after 2015 this is google scholar page Similarly, on Esco Scopus page also, we can see the number of times citations plus H index. Because number of paper, why H index is there 16 and H index here is 13 only? Because in case of Google Scholar, maximum papers are coming there. All the papers which is coming in the Google Scholar is not indexed in Scopus. So here only Scopus index paper comes. That's why H index is slightly less than the Google Scholar. So this is all about the H index. Hope you have understood it. Uh, next day we will talk about uh, impact factor. What is its significance and how we are going to calculate it. So thank you very much. Have a nice day.